Hello everyone, how are you? Good evening. Welcome to LE Creation. Haha, long time haven't seen you already. How are you during this Chinese New Year? Tomorrow will be the last day of a Chinese New Year job go me. So today uh like a very very uh high enthusiastic one to do live with you all because very long time didn't see you already. You all look so Hello Cindy, welcome to Ewi Creation. I look good uh. yeah, la, no need to clip uh. but then uh, clip too easy uh, to actually want to move the time uh. my hair don't block the way. Today I'm going to do this Kaya Kok. This um, afternoon I already made this big big top of Kaya. Homemade Kaya from Thermomix. I use this one to make because initially I actually want to plan to try to do this Kaya first. Then uh, if it's success, then I'll do the Kaya Kok uh, tonight. So really success, you see, a portion. Da -da. So later I will do Kaya Kok, Kaya Puff, and uh, this is the, is the Kaya Homemade, purely homemade. Uh, hello Nikki, welcome to every creation. So later I will add on it to the Puff. Okay, so let's not waste time. Help me to share all this with you today. It's Thursday. Tomorrow will be the last days of the Chinese year. So I still got a chance to wear Chinese Friday. year clothes. Yes, yeah, Friday, my son said. Yeah. So what we need to do right now is that we need to um start preparing this um kaya ko, kaya puff. Okay. So uh, the ingredient actually we need the oil dough and also the water dough. So step by step. Let's start cooking, okay? Help me to share all this video, please. Actually, I also forgot to share. Give me a second to share out, okay? Give me a second to share out. But nobody can see me here then. Where should I do this? Okay. Share from this portion. Share the bar bag. Okay, let's see share from first round first, okay? Nobody is coming in because it's long time I didn't uh, do the Facebook live already. Later, I must ask my husband to help me to share. <laughs> help me to share. Then only people will come in support me. Hi, Pace. Long time never see. Hello, Sonia. Welcome to Every Creation. Help me to share all this. Uh, I love TM6 because I cannot go everywhere to go and share. So let's not waste time. Today, I'm going to make this homemade kayako. For the tea time also can, for the breakfast also can. If now I'm doing it now, then I can see for tomorrow morning. Yeah. So let's uh, start from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning, the kaya kok, kaya puff. What we need is that we have a need to do two separate dough. One is the oil dough. One is the um, uh, oil. One is the water dough. So the first one we need to place this. 125 gram plain flour okay plain flour so let's pour and see actually, actually i already wait i already wait on it and uh, okay let's see long time didn't do live huh? uh, not many people know right now coming in help me to share this video let more people have fun and enjoy baking okay baking with me right now okay so next, what we need to put is that we need to put 125 gram of plain flour. So next, we need to put 80 gram of this uh, butter. Okay, the butter is the mentioned here must be cold. So that's why that's why when I cut the portion already, I put inside the fridge to uh, make it cold because I need to prepare my right it will melt. So what we need to do right now is that we need to pour can use this one pattern. Okay, this one uh, this one 80 gram cold butter or you can use a margarine. Okay? So we need to put it in 80 gram. Okay. Then next you need to insert this measuring cup. So you insert this measuring cup inside here. Step by step, it will tell you. You do not need to worry. So you need one minute to mix the dough, the flour with it. 
butter okay so in this time round hello Sonia Sonia so welcome to every creation <laughs> long time long time you didn't do live already right now because uh, busy with Chinese New Year's preparation busy with Chinese New Year's kids stuff busy a lot of things okay wow this one minute one minute uh, the preparation that I need to do is that I need to put this dough into the cling wrap and wrap it for a while so I need to set up the cling wrap so while waiting for it I will have to set up a space here to put this dough this is the first one is actually is oil dough it's only margarine or butter mixed with the plain flour okay now put here first I need to get some space and I need to set up and put the cling wrap and it's calling already cling wrap so that I can actually wrap the dough wrap the dough and then I can start do the another water dough so right now let me set up this one here let's see how it looks like later on and then this is the cling wrap my cleaner this one very good I bought it a big uh, carton and then this one can keep for quite some time very good normally we buy the small one right now we buy the small one very fast finish already this, this one I keep for very long time can use this one is the uh, food grade is from uh, suppliers okay from a suppliers that I know oh so this one I need to keep for one first okay so we need to adjust a bit from here okay, let's see how it looks like Ta -da! The flour let's pour some of the flour here because uh, it makes well how's everyone Chinese New Year Hoa! see the dough that we mix golden like my clothes Haha. -ha. Then this one I need to pour out facing me because actually the cling wrap I haven't cut. So the portion I can cut out from here, then I can mix and use my hand uh, to actually flatten it, give some pressure, flatten it. Then I can start to do my water dough. This one is the um, oil, oil based, the oil dough. Okay? Let's see. Okay, grab some more. Got some more inside there. Shouldn't waste it. Okay, let me show it to you. There, there. Okay, so I'm done already. Done already. Then I need to. Okay, done already. What I need to do? Done already. I need to pour it there. Okay, now I can do the second dough which is the oil dough okay people are coming in hello dolly wendy welcome to every question haven't seen you for a long long time chinese you're coming back uh. tomorrow is the last day too so today you still got chance to wear nice nice jong sam <laughs> have you to share out because um actually a lot of devices is very far away from me i can go and share out have you to share out this video either from your personal page or the I love TM6 or anywhere that you want to share for me, huh, Dolly? Yeah. Okay, this one, huh? Before I close it, I move forward to the next one. You see, it's mentioned here. Hello, PCC. Welcome to Every Creation. Transfer the likely flour surface, divide into 12 portions. Later, I divide into 12 portions, okay? I fold it first. I need the scissors here, right? So, next one will be cover the cling wrap to set aside. So later I set the side. So now I need to okay, tear first. Second round of doing the dough. This is the oil based dough. Oil dough. Now this one is the water. So we need to put okay, plain flour. Okay, this plain flour I need to pour in 175 gram. Hello Michelle. Welcome to every question. Oh the Google friend coming back. Support me, thank you so much. I haven't seen you all for a long, long time. Happy to share out the video. 
because I'm very far away with all the devices there. I gotta go and share. Ah, okay, 175 gram. Next, a pinch of salt. This one is the sea salt. Pinch of salt, so I don't pinch that. So I pour a little bit. Should take a smaller spoon. Pinch a little bit, la, right now. Little bit. So next, what I need to put is the, the icing sugar. This icing sugar is very special. That I mix a little bit with the mm, nice smell. Blend already. Okay. 25 gram of icing sugar tethers. When mixing that time, only I do this dough, okay? Long time didn't see you, yeah, long time didn't see you too. <laughs> okay. 25 gram. How is your Chinese New Year celebration? Busy right now, almost to the end already, right now. Okay, 25 gram of icing sugar. So I put the icing sugar. One, two, three. Little bit more. Okay, good. This one done. Next, 40 gram of butter. This one. 40 gram of butter. Okay? For the this is the water based dough. Water dough. Got two types. One is the water dough, one is the oil dough. Okay? Next, 85 gram of water. Okay? 85 gram of water. 85 gram. Okay, good. 85 gram of water to mix it. Okay, now it asks us to insert the measuring cup. Then we press next. Two minutes. So while waiting for this two minutes uh, to mix the dough, I need to cut this one, cover the cling wrap, and then uh, later we we'll mix together. Later I'll show you to you how we mix together. Okay. Cut the cling wrap. Put the side here for us. This cling wrap is very good. I actually keep the first some time to read it. I put underneath this one is the baking mat. So it will be very even when actually I push that time. And then you see it like that. I don't dirty my hand. Okay, put your phone. Now I need to press, flatten it, pressure it. Another side, flatten it. This is the oil dough, oil based dough. Okay, Michelle, welcome. And lastly, welcome to LV Creation. Okay, right now. This one later, I mix it. Flatten this one. Okay? Mix this one in uh, 12 portion. Then later, I mix the flatten this one with the water based dough and this one. So, this one I need to cover it first. Mix this well. This one need one minute, this one need two minutes. Hello! Welcome to every creation who give me more, more like uh, I cannot see. <laughs> Chinese New Year, everybody busy. Right now, it's my turn to busy back. With your... Okay, this one. Okay, I, I, I use hand to push it first. Okay, I use hand to push. You see, so far it's calling already. This one in my cover first. Huh? Because this one need to rest for like 10 minutes portion. And then, then, then calling already. Okay. Then, what we need to do is that this one cover and rest for a while. See, cover and rest for a while. The side, see? So simple and easy, right? Now. And then, Kaya Kok. Normally we go and buy right now. But but using thermal mixer, so good, you can do it by yourself. Today this morning is the first time I had to do this by myself. 45 minutes only to do kaya. 
45 minute homemade kaya. So much fun and, and so uh, impressive that I can do it by myself. I don't have to go outside and buy. So easy, I use the sugar, I use the kaya, I, I mean the, the pandan leaf. Uh. And then I, I use this, the coconut milk, just water, mix everything inside only. 45 minutes. Kaya, home kaya. So satisfied. Okay, this one done already. Keep aside for a while. Okay, keep aside for a while. Later, I need to mix together with this dough. So now I need to open and see what happened. Okay, see what happened inside. Okay, this is the. See, you can mix again if you feel that I'm satisfied. You can use. Ground nuts feeling. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you so much for the tips. Aha. Let's have a try that, uh, Dolly. You are the super already. <laughs> you are the super, uh, no? super master chef in TM6. <laughs> I saw you share a lot of good information there with your recipe. Uh, no? Now I think you, you also get all. Oh, on live and do together with us, Adoli. You are super. And I, I see you post the photo of some of these uh, food that you have cooked. Wow, looks so yummy. Uh. <laughs> Can help me to share in the uh, TM6 or not? I love TM6 or not? I can't share so far. Where's the name? Help me to share. Out. Thank you, Adoli. Okay, now this one. What do you need? Now? Let me read first before I pull up. Okay, next. Transfer the light flour surface and divide into the 12 equal portions. Same like this um, oil based dough. Now you see this one? Nearer. You can see? Okay, see whether you can, can pour out. Okay. Hello, Christy. Welcome to Eric Creation. Hung Bak Singh. Welcome to Eric Creation. Now I'm going to do the Kaya Ko a Kaya Puff. Uh, homemade. Uh. This afternoon I have made this homemade Kaya. By myself, ha <laughs> ha. Then now I do the kaya ko, kaya ko, ha huh? kaya ko, and mix and put it in a beater. Then can have a great breakfast tomorrow, ha. Huh? Later, later. Of course, if you can, I have supper time right now. Okay, now using a rolling pin. Okay, okay, I got a rolling pin. Okay, flatten one portion of the water dough, and then two, two and n, thicken. Top up with the portion of oil dough. Now is the best part to mix. Okay, now is the best part to mix. Okay, now what I need to do is take, take a rolling pin. Okay. My rolling, rolling, rolling pin. Help me to share out, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, now this one can pour up. Okay. So I use my towel blower. Okay, towel blower to turn. Dun, 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 dun. Very easy, then will come up. Very easy, it will come up. You say 12 portion. Whether I see, see 12 portion or 6 portion, let me see. Uh. <laughs> see how big is the portion if I make 12. And then, come up. <laughs> come up already. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit only, let me see my hand. <coughs> wow, so much fun. Uh. Chinese New Year also can bake. Chinese New Year also can cook. Hello Sharon, Liu, welcome to every creation. Thank you so much everyone. Sharing this uh, video for me. I'm gonna go and show it to you. This Chinese New Year, you can do your own homemade kaya. Ta-da! Kaya, kaya, show again. Uh. Yes, I show kaya. Homemade, I make it this afternoon. Afternoon lunch time, the time I make. Then uh, I want the plan to do live today. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do so they oh kaya. Why not do kaya ko, kaya puff? So that's why now I'm just showing to you the the dough part and the kaya already done. So just add on and put it inside only. So much fun you can do in one. The one balance it, uh, the balance it. The one you balance you can use is to do a spray on the butter or spray on the bread. And then another half portion you can do kaya kok. Okay? So much fun.
Chinese New Year tomorrow, last day already, today still got chance to wear chong some. Cannot go out right now. Cannot go out. Stay at home. All those chong some bought already, cannot wear, wear at home. Do life and show it to you all. Chinese, this Chinese year is very special, all stay at home. Cannot go anywhere. So what I need to do is... Uh, okay, okay, done. Last part. Uh, talk, talk, talk. I forgotten to remove all. Okay, done there. Later I can wash. It's called wash free cleaning. Add some water. Add the water in and then we'll do free cleaning by itself. Okay, wait a Give me a second. Fill water. Fill water. Okay, fill water. So cover the mixing knife. You will wash. Wash by itself. Wash by itself. Okay. So now, read the... Instruction first before I do the pre-cleaning part. Read the instruction first. Here's the tissue part. Wipe a bit. Then you can do the rolling pin part. Because it's mentioned that I have to clear some part first. Clear something here with the bang. Okay. Okay, done. This one done. This one don't need already. Put here. Clearing stuff. Then I can add on easily. And... No worry. Okay. Very nice. Uh, every time I want to show people because very excited and satisfied. See? My homemade kaya. <laughs> now I do the kaya puff. Okay, this one. I need to flatten it. Before I flatten it, I use this uh, baking mat to roll then. Uh, not very nice. Nice like that. Also no scatter right not. Won't dirty yourself and you can happily do this kaya kok. Where got people are uh, wear nice side uh, there and uh, do kaya kok at home. Sweat la <laughs> and then uh, and uh, clothes all dirty uh, to make all those baking stuff right uh. Where got people like me uh, sitting here nicely talking with you? Hello Peggy! Welcome to every question. Is it the line is bad? Uh? Keep on seeing you're in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> okay. La la la. Done. 12 portion or is mentioned in this recipe. See whether I can really cut 12 portion or not. Ten, 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 ten. Okay, 12 portion now. Huh? So we'll make it 6. Hi Peggy. How are you? How's the Chinese New Year celebration? Hala Chuing Yang, Ging, sorry I didn't pronounce your name. Chui, Chui. I'm doing this kaya kok, okay? And you need the recipe is mentioned that I need the rolling pin and then to flatten it. Before I flatten it, I need to make into 12 portions. So I see whether I can make 12 portions or not because this is the, the oil based dough, this is the water based dough, the mix together. How mix together? Let me show it to you. I've done this before. 12 portion, okay? 12 portion, one and a half. And here also half. See whether I can make it 12 portion or not, okay? Looks very small. Mix it with it. And uh, if you feel that you don't want to be too small, if you make it bigger, then you don't do 12, uh, maybe you can do six, okay? Okay, let's see what happens next. Repeat the dough uh, bowl until you finish. Okay, so what is the... Uh, description here the recipe step by step telling you what is the description using a rolling pin flatten one portion one portion of water dough this one to 2 mm thicken thickness not thicken thickness top with one portion of oil dough wrap the oil dough with the water oil wrap with the oil with the water dough and shape into a ball uh, shape the ball little okay so we make it 12 portion first okay one two three four cut some more cut try to be equal okay, try to be equal how many portion already okay here cut some more one two three four five six seven eight one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight. Cut some more lah. Huh? 
into a smaller portion. It depends on your portions that you want. Cut some. See whether I can make it drop or not. Six, ten. Cut some more. Because ask us to make smaller portion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so this one too small already. I cut some more, some portion to mix it. Make sure not some too big. Make sure some not too small. This one too small already cut. So we'll make it twelve portion, okay? Twelve portion. Make it twelve portion. Are this small? This one big? Try to balance it. Okay, most of it. Equal most of it are ah, equal. Okay. So now I'm going to mix this together with them. So it's mentioned again. Let me explain to you. It's mentioned again. Mix with the oil-based dough and the water-based dough. Okay. So using a rolling pin, flatten it. So before I flatten it, I need to make sure this also clear portion, right? Not. Okay, so, so this one, this one, I put in a cling wrap so I can use my hand to squeeze it to make it more even actually i have done a few rounds of baking uh, uh mixing the dough mixing the dough if you don't really use your hand to mix the dough uh, it's a little bit different because oh, i always use the 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 mat to roll right or not because your hand wants to be dirty uh. and uh you can do so but let's say for some you want the texture is more uh chewy uh, you <laughs> You need to use the hand to roll a little bit like that. Then the dough, when it come out, the bun or the bread, it tastes better. <laughs> Just only a short while only. Just only a short while only. No need, no need to do many rounds. If you do it conventionally, uh, traditionally, uh, you need to mix the dough about half an hour or 45 minutes. Wow, your shoulder really pain. But that one is very really tasty. But <laughs> you're making yourself uh, tired. And a pin. So you will use the thermomix. Mix already. Everything done by itself. Then everything done by itself, right now. Then you put it down. You just need probably 30 seconds or one minute to do this um, this uh, part. So it already ease your work. So you do not need to worry that oh I think I better do it manually. Traditionally better taste it. It saves a lot of time and your energy. So uh, you can do this part only probably 30 seconds or 1 minute will do Okay, now I need 12 portion See whether I can mix the 12 portion come out or not Okay I need 12 portion, make it even, okay Flatten, mix and then keep on flattening it This one I've done it before, so I now I know the tips so I tell you Okay Now this, I need to cut One See whether I can do it and Without. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Now I put it together next to it. One. Two. Three. Four. I think I can I can mix well with it. Okay, I think it's good. I can do it. Then another portion here. Yes, it's mixed well, good. Okay, just nice the portion. Just nice the portion. You can do it at home. You can do it at home. One, two, three. Yes, exactly the portion. Good, very good. Yes, the portion. I did it exactly. Okay, now 12 portion. It's mentioned in the recipe. So this one you don't need already, but got extra, then you can uh, grab some, okay? Grab some here. Okay, now the mixing part. Let me show you to you the mixing part. Now the important step from here is that you need to flatten the dough. First, you need to flatten this uh, water-based dough first. Make it long, oblong. Yeah, you see, you mentioned here, make the um, shape long okay so now you use the rolling pin to flatten it like that make it long like 
like this. Turn on the shape because actually it asks you to mix up uh, the dough wrap the oil dough with water and shape into a ball. So right now I flatten already. Then I make it to this portion like this. Okay. Then I cover this with this water and this uh, oil-based dough. Okay, now I cover it. I cover already uh, like a ball. So like this, cover already, then I roll like that. Each and every one have to do so. I'm gonna do it 12 times uh, of this. Later I need to flatten and then roll, flatten and roll. So I should do a sample for it to you. This one one portion. So next one. Okay, flatten it like that. And then I fold it and cover the dough inside. And make it become a bowl. This part is very important because I've done that before. Sometimes if you go out to eat um, this, the, what is it called? The kaya or some place that you buy, uh, that you bought, uh, you try and taste uh, the, the pastry uh, is very thick. So they didn't do this part. Some pastry that you uh, try and eat, uh, which is actually like crispy like that, like a layer, like a layer crispy like that. So they have done this part. So this part I learned because first round I did uh, tired and lazy. I didn't do this, um, what is that called? Uh, flatten a few round. I didn't do it this part, flatten a few round. So it come out uh, really, you know, the, the pastry is very thick. The taste is good, but it's just that the, 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 the taste that you, you chew that time uh, really makes different. Really makes different. So this one. This one, button already cover. Cover already, then you roll, kind of ball. Let it rest for 10 minutes. So by the time I do the 12, go back to the first one, it's almost 10 minutes. So it's okay, then I can continue to do that. Okay. So flatten it. Flatten it in a long oblong shape. Cover the shape, then like that. And then I this one portion a bit big, give it here. And cover it, and I roll it like a bowl. Okay, roll it like a bowl. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, roll it like a bowl. Then continue with the next portion. Flatten it. Flatten it, make it longer. Okay, make it longer. Now everybody stay at home, cook right now. Take this portion and then cover the oil based dough and then we roll it like a ball. We have to stay at home. <laughs> Sometimes feel like very very boring a uh, stay at home how uh, but we got no choice because the number of these the um, people infectors is getting higher and higher. Suddenly, by right, this is the green zone, <laughs> become red zone. Supposedly, these are not many people infected, but because some factory, factory coming out, affected. So that's why we are trying to play safe, stay safe. <laughs> oh, I have to stay at home. No way can go. Even when nice, nice food, also stay at home and when cannot go anywhere. So why not? spend all this time and uh, chit chat with y'all cook together with thermomix so easy you see i turn on acorn and i can actually do baking at home baking inside the indoor inside the house so that's why i can't wait i want to do live with you share some information see what has happened and then cover it Cover it. Actually, uh, if you look at the, if you have done this before or you have not, uh, let me share with you. Uh, 
the oil based dough uh, it looks like this the angku um, kue uh, inside there uh, the green bean angku kue the angku kue uh, the green bean uh, it looks like is that see la angku kue but this one exactly like normal like making bread making a uh, bread dough so that's why I got different then uh, cover with this one because like angku kue the the green bean the texture look like this exactly so you roll 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 it see so nice already the the first two one that are done just now because you need 10 minutes to rest 10 minutes to rest so what i need to do right now is that i keep on do the rest of the dough okay rest of the dough by the time i go back to the first one it already like proof like that okay well really make me want to feel like i want to eat already because looks like i'm going to the green green bean the mung bean uh, it's a look like green bean okay now roll 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 already later i flatten it that means it mix well layer by layer another two more to go uh, then i show it to you okay this has a mention uh, that i know ne? roll all repeatedly until you finish so roll out a dough ball into oblong shape See, did it mention here the oblong shape now this one another one more to go i show it to you okay it mentioned here roll out a dough into the oblong shape then roll it up to form a long to form a log shape repeat the dough okay wait uh, let me flatten this one first this is what I mentioned just now. Uh, probably those of friends haven't come in just now. Let me repeat and tell to you that uh, when I flatten it, then I roll. Uh, it's like a layer of layer. So when you actually do baking that time, I put air fryer. You can put it in the oven. Then uh, the when you eat the pastry that time, uh, it's, it's very crispy and you have the texture of feeling of the layer. Okay? So flatten already. Then last one the dough. Mix it. So just now the one, the first one already uh, put it aside there. <laughs> the two over there. So that um Hello Chiman. How are you? Kong Chiman, how are you? Share this video for me. I'm doing this kaya puff. Kaya ko. And then this one, homemade, homemade kaya, homemade kaya, very good, ichiban. <laughs> okay, now this one rolling pin. Okay, now this one roll out a dough ball into the oblong shape. Ah, okay. Now I need to flatten already because this one asked this to roll, ma. So I roll already. Ah, now I need to make it oblong shape. Then roll it up to form a log shape. See next is what. Okay, cover the roll dough lock with cling film and set aside for ten minutes. So you need to set aside for ten minutes. A top top already. Now my, this one ching 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 ching. Okay, when you roll up, I try to flatten it, roll a little bit. Okay, then I fold. Then I fold. For a few times, so uh, the oil base and the water base will be fold together, and you roll and you roll. So there's a many layer come up, and then you cover it, flatten it, roll, 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 roll. So this part probably I showed to you a, a few round on this. Then after that, in the middle, see many layer I do like that then I can actually flatten some more flatten it and then cover it cover 
it because it need time to rest so this round I don't put this the kaya puff first because it need to time to proof okay roll flatten it See, coming up already. So you need time to rest. You need 10 minutes to rest. Cover it. So many layers. Okay, many layers. So what I need to do right now is that I need to let it rest for a while. Okay, this one here. The next one. The next one should be this one. Okay. Flatten it. Wow. So much fun. Up to you to do how you want the shape to be okay I do this uh, two part first then later I put this um, kaya in the middle then show it to you then I can bake already so the final one will be on top you spread the egg uh, the egg yolk then we're done okay this part then flatten it like that you can do it as many round as you want because see whether you would like to eat crispy type or not. The crispy type or the deep type. <laughs> Some people like to eat deep type, so I cannot say no. Um, this, this one, you can do it the crispy type, the layer by the layer one. Then, um, so this one, you need to let it rest for a while first because I cannot do it immediately. Okay? This part, do already. Okay, you need 10 minutes ma. So each and everyone have to do this this step. Roll, 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 roll. Roll it. Okay. Then flatten it. So that's why the the water-based dough and the oil-based dough is mixing together by layer. Okay? again up to you to do how many uh, round of flatten it because uh, the more the more uh, layer that you do when you uh, become a pastry that time you eat uh, the taste will be like uh, you eat the kaya kaya kok, uh, at the shop the very crispy one when the layer come out this is the this is the way uh, that they do Okay, this is the way that they do. Okay, then this one. Now is the interesting part that you want to see right now. Okay, I done the three one. Okay, now back to the first one. Okay, back to the first one. Flatten it. This one looks very small. The portion because it's the twelve uh, portion. If let's say from someone you want a lesser one, you look bigger, flat like that, you do six portion. So this one, done already. See up to the shape that you want. Ma. Flatten dough, lock into oblong shape with a rolling pin and roll already to 2 mm thickness. Place one tablespoon of kaya in the center. So right now I'm doing this part into the center and fold the dough in half to form a Crescent plate. Ah, this part lah. That's why I use this spatula. This spatula, okay. So this one flatten already, right? Not flatten. And then I have to put the what is it called? The kaya into the middle. And then actually I have to cut like that. You see, cut like that. Gentle cut like that. So when I fold it, it will look like this. Fold it. Ah, so right now, the middle part will look like this. When you want to bake that time, you will know what I'm saying. Right now, okay, this part. So, okay, now we're going to do ah, we're going to put it inside, okay? Now roll it. Like an oblong shape first. Okay, like the oblong shape. Okay. Put some. <laughs> it be smaller spoon, teaspoon. This one, put it in the middle, but before I put it in the middle, this one, gentle cut into the middle part. 
Chanter. That way we have a break. Chanter in the middle part. Scope. My homemade kaya I done this morning. Eh, done this afternoon. Okay. Hope it's not too much. Okay, now I put here first. Rest here first. Cover it. Okay, cover all the part. So done the, the shape already. So let's say for example in the middle, you want to fold it like the traditional way. It's up to you. You want to fold like that. Okay. Oh, from this side, sorry. From this side. But uh, let, let me try to do a few ways. Uh. Normally, if this one too small, I will not do uh, this type of shape uh, because it doesn't look good. Too small already. I'll use the spoon. Okay, now this is a sample. Uh, a sample first. Show you the example how it looks like. See a fold like that and fold. That's why uh, this step not so recommend if you want to do a small one. Uh. Normally I do the big big one. See the shape come out already. You can see? Okay now this shape come out already. You put at the I really ready this one. Uh. Normally I put this one, the baking paper, uh, the parchment paper, uh, so it wouldn't stick when I remove that side easily. So this one done already. This portion, put it here. Done already. This portion, okay. Then let's say I do another one, which is use the use the small little. Wait, wait. I can use this one. Flatten it. Okay, flatten it. Uh. Just now I already flatten a few rounds. Uh, no? So round this uh, final round to, to put the kaya in the middle. Put the kaya in the middle. Oh, I need to gentle touch the middle part. Gentle touch the middle part. Uh, this one, I flatten this one can, can have more because this one bigger portion that I can do. A bit more because it looks like this one bigger okay this one put here then i have gently cut the middle part hello foreigners welcome to every creation okay then you see i fold you can see now I fold cover the rest of the part okay, cover the rest of the part it will look like this right now it will look like this okay so now Let's say for example, I don't want to do the first part like just now I mentioned to you the traditional way that I fold. You see, that I fold. I use spatula to cut the middle. I mean, not the middle, I mean the side. Or the side. So gentle. So when I cut like this, like that, that's the shape of the flower. But then, when I do the baking, that time heating up, uh, the flower will come up. Let me see. Let me show it to you. Now you see, uh, this part. You can see? Nearer. Okay. So this one, uh, when I uh, put like this, uh, it doesn't look uh, prominent, the shape. So when I actually put it the air fryer or oven, uh, so the shape will come up prominently because it will expand. See? Uh, this is one of the way if it's too small. Okay? I try to lift up, see whether I can show it to you. Uh -huh. Up to you to design, see? Up to you to design. Either you want this shape or you want this shape. Okay? So later when it um, expands the time, the shape will come up. Okay, lastly, because I've done three right now. One more I'll show it to you all. One more, I'll show you two. This one already flattened a few rounds already. Flattened a few rounds already. Okay, flattened a few rounds. Fold one more time. Okay, flatten again. Just so when I do this part, flatten many times, uh, I cannot immediately put the kaya because uh, it will shrink. It will shrink. So I let it rest for 10 minutes like that, then only can do, okay? 
So this one. Thank you so much, Florence. Okay, now I need to gentle touch the middle part. So later when you fold, that time got shape. Gentle touch the middle part. Okay, then I put on my homemade kaya. I make it this afternoon, lunch time. Okay. Put it here. If you want more, then you can uh, pour more, right? Now. Okay, done. This part. Then I cover it. And then, depends on the shape that you want. Uh. That's why I do many shapes. I show it to you all. Got three type of shape. One is look like the ka, kaya, ka, mea, curry puff. <laughs> curry puff. The shape oblong like the um, crescent moon like that. Okay, this one, like a crescent moon like that, long oblong shape like this. Okay, then this part, same goes as I mentioned just now, you need to cut the side from the right side. Cut. So when actually you bake the time, uh, the shape will come up one. Normally, some of the uh, friend who like to do the baking use the the mold click like that like a clam also can click like a clam also can so this one now nah, you see the cannot see wait I put nice stiff otherwise you drop on the floor see this portion so it depends what shape you want to make this one I make the three different shapes one is the one with the fold Another one is a cut, the square one, kaya puff. This one is a kayang ko. This one is a curry puff. Looks like curry puff. So now, this is a three different shape for you to um, have an idea of what you want to do. So now, right now, what I need to do is that I need to uh, spread the egg on top. Spread the egg on top. So I haven't stirred. Should stir well. They say use only egg yolk, but I don't want to waste it. I learned from one of the friend told me that also can mix well the egg, the egg yolk only actually. Actually, uh, egg yolk only tastes better. <laughs> Harden the top part. Okay, now I mix this one. Spray on top. Spray on top. You can put a little bit salt on top here actually. Yeah, spread on top. Then you can bake already. Once I finish done bake, uh, I show you the picture. This one needs about 20 minutes to bake. Uh. But my hour very fast, my air fryer very fast. 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Uh, 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 the, the heat is very 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 strong very fast uh. you heat up then can uh, eat already so this part spread a day then you put the air fryer or oven to bake that's it so simple today haha <laughs> help me to share this video this is a three simple step I mean three simple uh, shape that you can do okay uh, thank you so much for watching every creation hope you enjoy uh, watching my video help me to share this video at the same time once I done already I will share out the recipe with you all and uh, happy baking and cook si fa chai tomorrow is last day already hope everyone have an enjoyable day and uh, prosperity 